looking up Ishbia a little bit uh, as we were researching this, it, it was interesting. I didn't really know the extent of his uh, animosity with fellow NBA owner Dan Gilbert, who owns Fel, the Cleveland fellow Cavs. NBA and mortgage broker Dan Gilbert. Yeah, so so and we should say Gilbert's also Jewish. Uh, he's been the owner of the Cavs for a long time, probably twenty five years or so. Um, but I think they just had like competing Great Lakes Midwest regional mortgage companies, and it's like that's where the animosity stems from, which is very funny Absolutely. because it's like it's one thing to not like a fellow owner because like you know they voted for the CBA and you were against it, or like they they did, well, they wanted some rules change you didn't want. But uh, Gilbert was the one abstention. You know the league was the league was like desperately trying to get the hands out of the sorry the team out of the hands of Robert Sarver, uh, and you know they have to approve the new owner coming in. Matt Ishbia made a, a nice offer that uh, you know was the biggest offer there was, and it was like all of the other owners who voted. There were, it was twenty eight owners approved of him taking it over, and Matt and Dan Gilbert was the one abstention. <laughs> like yeah, it's not there's... not going to make a difference, but just like I am not voting for this guy. We don't get along. I just think it's hilarious. Like, there's a lot and, of and, and there's, uh, been, there's been hate. You know, there's been like attack there. ads back and forth. It's crazy. He what what Ishbia did is actually very controversial and potentially illegal. And there's like a lot of debate over it. He very famously, you know, followed Northeast business, and I'm sure people would know this. But he, if I'm, I think I'm not mistaken, but he refused to work with any bank that also worked with Dan Gilbert. And right. that's how he did the competition. He said, you know, to every money lender, you're either working with him or you're working with me. So that cost both of them. It cost Gilbert a lot of money, who was the bigger one at the time, but also made Ishbi a lot of money. Um, so it's. A, I, I just think it's. A, I just think uh, there's something. You know, I'm not asking. One. Now they're working together. I, I'm again. not asking anyone. Yeah, exactly. I'm not asking anyone to like sympathize with a billionaire. Uh, Dan Gilbert's made a lot of money and and has done you know some good things, some bad things, whatever. In terms of his own made a lot of money. I'm, I'm not going to say this. I'm using this word on purpose, but you know, Shylocking. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> anyways, but I was going to say is that like, I think it's very, very, I think there's something really, really funny about the idea of like making all this money, buying an NBA team. And Dan Gilbert, I'm pretty sure is like talked about owning a basketball team. Like it, it's not a money-making endeavor. Like it's like owning a work of art, you know, like you should just own it for the sake of owning it. And then, like, your business rival buys a, another team. Like, at least they're not in the same conference. But, like, you still have to see that guy. Like, you see, if he wins an NBA championship, <laughs> you have to see this guy. Like, he bought his way into your club of literally 30 people. Like, there are not that many NBA owners. Like, it's, it, you know, a team gets sold maybe every 5, 10 years. Uh, and it's just like, yeah, this guy that you do not like, but that you definitely have to spend some time thinking about, just got into your club. Like, there's, you know, there's, I, I, it, it's a funny thing for, for that to happen. Like of all, of all the gin joints, you know, this guy couldn't have bought a hockey team or a baseball team. He has to come know, steal my true. thing. It's like, I would be so annoyed if I was him. And again, I'm not asking anyone to sympathize with literal billionaire owner, Dan Gilbert. I just think it's hilarious that that happened to him. And I sort of feel, but I, I, I can understand feeling bad for him. I'm, I'm